Hello everyone, welcome back to Kadia's Journal. I'm Kadia. got my coffee here this morning and the book that I'm currently reading, which is called Black Cake. I'm also doing a quote page today, so I'm just sharing a few of the Tombos, microns, pencils, papers, and washi tapes that I'm sharing here. I also thought today's journal prompt would be a great one because I am having a hard time with my book. So I would love to know if you could write about top tips for finishing up a book. So normally when I feel like I'm struggling with a book, that's when I start to put in my planner that I'm going to read for 30 minutes or 40 minutes or an hour or whatever the time frame may be. And then usually I just start, if I'm enjoying the book, I'll just start reading and it won't really be a big deal. But lately I have been having a hard time focusing And so I thought that in addition to writing down those timeframes in my planner, which I've shared with you in previous videos, I thought it would be important to actually uh, do a journal prompt. And maybe even as I'm writing, I'll figure out some tips for myself. But I would love to know if you have any tips for finishing up a book, especially if it's fiction I usually don't have a hard time with fiction normally nonfiction gets me a little bit so yeah and I know there's tons of videos out there that I could watch and other tips but it's always best if you're here watching my video and you have your own tip to share I'd love to hear from you and yeah I just wanted to get right into today's video with my Uh, quote page so I won't be doing anything on the left side just focusing on this right page and I am gluing down some papers that I have in the spread and I wanted to read the quote that I have or that I will be writing down in the spread and I'm just loving the fact that I found this quote on Pinterest and it was just really speaking to the way I've been feeling lately and so the quote is if the plan doesn't work change the plan but never the goal i did leave out the word but just because i didn't want to use it in the spread but of course i'm here saying but (laughs) so forgive me but you know what i mean so i just left it out when i wrote it down here which i thought was fine it still is a really great quote whether you leave that word in or you take it out so You can see here that I'm just actually drawing a little plant pot. I want to get back into drawing, so I figured, you know, my spreads should include some of my own little drawings, so that's what I'm doing here, or doodling. I guess this is really a doodle, if you think about it. And then I'm going to just write my quote in here in various fonts. I thought it would be fun to write in script and write uh, of course you know just plain writing I guess or you know uppercase lowercase what have you like I just didn't want to be too serious about it and then I was writing and I was like oh wait a second I spelled doesn't wrong (laughs) so I had to erase it and I thought about editing it out but it's not a big deal couple things happen I spelled doesn't wrong and then my camera toppled over luckily it's not as noticeable so hopefully uh, it's a great edit for you and I just thought it was funny because I was really trying to keep myself in the frame here and I kept hitting my notebooks on the side I am very new to the YouTube world so I don't quite have everything that I need to film it to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly but this is part of the journey and I'm having fun and I just love to write in my journal and my planner and I just love sharing this journey with you it's just been really fun I have been making videos I've also been making some shorts so definitely check out my shorts I usually have know some journals and things like that and I can't wait for the weather to be 
nicer because I'll just be outside a little bit more and can share a little bit more about my life outside. I'll probably stick to this type of format where I just really do, uh, you know, share with you over uh, voiceover as opposed to sitting on camera as much as I love to be on camera. I think that it's just easier to get right into the journaling piece as opposed to um, having to sit there. Because, you know, if you go on camera, it's just, for me, it's just a little bit more, a little bit more tense. I'm a lot more comfortable when I'm just doing my voiceover for you all and really just focusing on the work and not necessarily having to worry about myself. And of course, sharing with you my mornings, whether I'm having tea or coffee. I also realized I didn't write the, <laughs> the whole word there. So yeah, a lot going on here, a lot going on. I also did not like the washi tape. What do you think of it? I am not a fan of the washi tape. I don't know why. I thought the color was a little... I don't know. I just didn't really like the green. But I decided to just leave it there. And of course, you can see that I also had written N, the, in, the N in plan. Uh, that second plan that's on the page that I'm currently covering with my thumb. There we go. So I was actually writing that and I just didn't like the way the capital looked. So I just ended up writing it in a different way. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up here, finishing up writing the word goal. And now I'm going to get into the actual like coloring in of this tree. So I really liked the sketched effect that I had going on here. So I'm really just trying to keep that aesthetic, if that's the right word. So I'm just filling it in here. I decided I was going to keep that same theme and not color it in because I really like the little, you know, the leaves. I, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like coloring things in and other times I don't. So I really liked the way this came out. Again, the only thing I really didn't like about this spread was the washi tape that I stuck in the corners there. You can see I wasn't really a fan of it. Other than that, I thought it came out pretty cool, but you know, that's what I'm here for. Sometimes I'm gonna love what I create and other times I'm just not really gonna be feeling it. And so you can see that I am filling in with this maroon. I didn't grab the color, so I do apologize for not sharing that exact color that I'm using here. But I thought it was nice color and it was kind of cool that it matched my notebook that's to the right of the screen. So yeah, just gonna go in and make it like, almost not like painting, but just kind of a little bit more of like a sketch type style instead of coloring it in. So I just thought this was fun and it was very therapeutic actually. So, and I just kept, instead of coloring the tree trunk brown, I just left it. And then I was gonna go for the word plan to carry the color over on the page. I thought this was really important to do as well because I love when the colors kind of, you know, are not too much on the page, but also not too little. So I just thought it was nice. And I'm also gonna write, go over the word goal. So I end up going back to that word and I go with the same exact color. So then I just highlight a couple of words here just because I like to highlight as well. It's just something that I enjoy doing and I might not always do it though. So uh, there was my quick little edit because I had mentioned earlier that my camera toppled over and I was right in the middle of writing or actually tracing the word go. So yeah, so I'm just taking my eraser and going through now, if I miss some of the page or some of the pencil, 
please do not come for me in the comments. This is just what I do. I always end up going back to my work anyway and just trying to figure out if I got everything right or if I need to add a sticker here or a sticker there. I got these stickers from my cousin, so she gave me these and I'm going to use these stickers. Uh, just a few, I'm just gonna take a few to, uh, to put here just to enhance the page a little bit. Other than that, I really enjoyed doing this spread. I love a good quote page and I'm just excited that I get to share this journey with you. So yeah, that's it for me, friends. I hope that you have a wonderful day or a rest of your um, the beginning of your week. It is Sunday when I'm recording here. So thank you so much for watching and take care. Have a great one.